What is going on guys, it's Dimitri, so back. Man, it has been a freaking hectic week. I've been selling a whole bunch of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. I uh, sold my boat yesterday, that aluminum boat that I've had in that barn for for a couple weeks now. I moved it in with the quad, but it's been sitting in the yard for over a year. I only took it out one time last year, so I sold that yesterday. I sold uh, a couple stuff last week, like a bunch of fishing lures. I sold, um, what else did I sell? I sold the fishing lures game system and then um another thing i sold that boat i sold um yeah i can't even remember what i sold but anyway i've been selling a whole bunch of stuff i still have a whole bunch of stuff i do have to sell um i'm thinking i'm gonna end up selling the pressure washer just because you know that's more room um in the bed of my truck that you know i need space for my actual stuff that i'm taking to alabama with me i don't want to take a whole bunch of extra stuff um but we are going to be keeping the quad i just built a snorkel kit for it i'm waiting for you guys response on the video to see if there's any more vent lines i actually found one more vent line that i have to um extend i just didn't see it because it didn't have a hose on there it's from the carburetor so i got to put a new hose on there and run it up to uh, the top of the snorkel but yeah, we're keeping the quad, we're keeping the Can-Am. I think I am actually gonna get rid of the dirt bike. Um, I broke off the back fender a couple weeks ago, so I'm gonna get a brand new back fender and I'm gonna degrease the whole engine, wash the whole bike, make it look good, and I'm gonna put it up for sale uh, just because um, I'm gonna need money to move. So, you know, I already have enough Can-Am and quad. I can always buy another dirt bike. So the YZ85 is actually gonna leave uh, once I do order that back piece and clean it up. So we're gonna flip this bike Hopefully I get a little bit more money than I paid for it But if I only get what I paid for it, that's fine with me. I don't really care. Um, I had a lot of fun with that um, But yeah today's video we um, need to Go do some work on the uh, the flatbed trailer. I think I'm gonna repack the bearings because I'm new trailer I don't know when they got repacked last or when ever they got service i'm not sure so i'm gonna grab the uh the jack throw it on the quad get the grease get the um gloves because you need gloves to repack them i don't want to grease all over my hands get the brake clean to clean the old grease out of the bearings and then i didn't buy grease seals yet because i'm not sure what the size is so once i get one off i'm gonna take it off and then i'll end up going to um the auto parts store or a local farm store uh, right down the street from my house to um, get the right size. I need four of them for each axle, or two of them for each axle, so four total. Um, we probably won't finish that today. I'll probably go to the parts store tomorrow, so tomorrow's video will uh, finish that up, but I'm gonna start it right now. I also got a grease gun from Adam's dad's house. Um, I need to grease as many fittings on this Can-Am as possible because from the factory, I'm gonna Facebook group, for uh, Can-Ams like this, Can-Am X3. Um, and people say that the grease fittings from factory, they don't put a lot of grease in them. So I'm gonna grease the hell out of these fittings. Every single spot that I find a Zerk, like right here on the sway bar, there's a Zerk fitting right there. There's another one right there. I'm just gonna grease all of them up and uh, get that nice and greased. I greased my truck yesterday um, on my, um, my lift because those actually have grease fittings that I can, uh, grease it up with but yeah let's go ahead and um start greasing up the can-am and then we'll go out to the trailer take off a couple wheels maybe i don't know and um start packing those bearings and then tomorrow you'll see in the next video we'll finish that up and then i got some other stuff planned too so stay tuned and uh let's go ahead and grease that can-am All right, so problem right off the bat, I uh, went to grease his first fitting, and uh, this grease gun is really hard to get off the Zerk fittings, and I don't know how, it's screwed in. I don't know how I pulled it off without spinning the fitting. I mean, I don't know. Piece of shit, Can-Am. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> but that's kind of weird that I, this freaking thing doesn't have a quick release. It's really hard to get the, uh, grease gun off of 
the uh, the fitting. So I'm gonna have to check that out. Look, I don't know how it came off without unscrewing, but I hate these things. Or at least this grease gun, it needs a quick release. So unfortunately this grease gun is out of grease. There's barely any in there when I first started and uh, I don't have the extra grease with me. Adam actually has it in his truck. So we're gonna wait for him to get home, finish that up. So we'll probably finish that up tomorrow. I got most of the front done. I think I have one more fitting on this. Who's calling me? All right, we are back. Uh, I got the jack loaded up. I got the tools loaded up to take off the tire. I got a jack stand. I got the axle grease. I was gonna go with the uh, tacky red stuff, but this was a little bit higher temperature, so I went with this one. Um, got some rubber gloves. I got actual... Samuel, knock it off. Damn dog. I got actual wire loom, uh, protective wire loom cover. For the wires on this i actually did get it to work um it's just the uh electrical tape doesn't look too good so i'm gonna go ahead and throw this new wire loom in there that should be good i need to get a jack i know i said that when i first got the trailer if i take this one out i found a good deal on a side jack that you know that flips up so would that be i don't know it might get in the way of the toolbox but is a side jack, would that be able to hold a lot of weight? Let me know if I should get a side jack or a middle jack. I, I, I feel like middle jacks can hold more weight because it's in the middle rather than the side. Let me know what you guys think if I should get a, a side jack or a uh, another middle jack. It's just this one's hella bent, so yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's go ahead and jack up the trailer, uh, get a tire off, get this hub off tomorrow. We'll get a grease seal. I also bought a new wire for the welder, so we can go ahead and uh, tomorrow morning I'll take off the uh, bed of the Can-Am and measure how much pipe I'm gonna need for the exhaust on it. So when I go to Auto, I might go to AutoZone just to get the grease seals, cause, no! <sighs> that dog. Um, but when I go there, I'll look at their two and a half inch pipe and see how much it all is gonna cost for the straight pipe on the Can-Am. <laughs> Now I probably should have put a piece of board underneath that jack stand, but whatever. Now we got the tire completely free from the ground. Just judging from how well this tire spins, I'm gonna say that the wheel bearings are are uh, pretty good on this tire. I don't know about the other ones, but yeah, I'd say this one's pretty good, but we'll find out once we uh, open it up. All right. 
right, now I need a uh, big ass wrench and take that calcium nut off. We'll be able to take this hub off and uh, repack the bearings. All right, we got the hub off, got that nut off, got the cotter pin out. There's that grease seal on the end of that. And uh, looks like we have two bearings, one in front, one in back. We got this washer. Let me take this washer out real quick. You got this washer in between that bearing right here, the front bearing, and um, the nut. There's all that nasty ass grease. So what you're gonna do, basically clean off all the old grease, clean it off the shaft, clean it off inside of the hub. Make sure you know which way your bearings come out. So the tapered end goes in. And uh, you can see all that grease in there too. The bearings actually look pretty good. They're pretty greased up still, so um, that's a good sign that they've been repacked. This seal has seen better days, let me tell you that. But I think what I'm gonna do is, since I don't have the seals right now, there's no point in repacking them and having them all you know, loose inside the, uh, the hub here. So, I'm gonna take this grease seal off and go to AutoZone. If I can even get it off, this thing is freaking in there. And uh, hopefully they can match up this grease seal with something they have in stock. I'm not sure if there's any part numbers or anything. But this seal is definitely stuck in there. But yeah, we're not gonna get to repacking them today. That'll be in tomorrow's video. Um, today was just kind of, you know, get it ready to get repacked. I have something else I have to do. Forgot I changed out that mini bike motor for one from Harbor Freight. Uh, one blew up and I had to go get another one. So I'm gonna put all the stock parts back on that old one and uh, go ahead and take that back tomorrow as well when I'm out. Dude, there's so many mosquitoes out here and take that one back when I go out tomorrow. So that way I can get my money back for it. And uh, yeah, we'll be done with having that laying around in the barn. But yeah, this seal is being a, uh, a you know what. So like I said, we're gonna get back to this tomorrow need to go buy seals. I want to finish it and be able to put it back on the axle so nothing gets, you know, contaminated, all dirty and everything like that. So I'm going to take this off real quick. I'll head to the barn, clean up that motor, put all the stock parts back on it and uh, see where we go from there. All right, we got that grease seal out. We're back over in the yard and we're going to clean up this. I don't even know if I should clean it up. I mean, they can't use it. This shit's freaking uh, seized up. You can't even pull that. I believe the connecting rod is broken. So we're going to have to put the stock muffler back on, the air box back on. Um, I'm going to have to get the throttle piece that goes here and uh, somewhere, I think right there. It's in my truck. Hopefully I have all the nuts and shit for this. It should be all in here. But you know, I have a whole bunch of stuff in here, so who knows. And I don't even know if I use it for anything else either, but I think these are for... The manifold, no. Nope. Uh, small. I think these will work. Nope. These will work. Those will work. And that other one. So we got the manifold bolts right there. We need the bolts for the uh, intake. I think Adam's home, yes, Adam's home. Yeah, that'll work. Could probably find one at the workbench, but Adam's home. Let's go ahead and get a time lapse of me uh, putting this all back together. And you know what's messed up? That box right there has bats, and there's a freaking dead bat in this box. <laughs> That's hella messed up.
All right, guys, that wraps it up for today. It's starting to get dark out. I finished that motor, so we're gonna be able to return that motor tomorrow. I have the grease seal for the trailer, so it actually has a part number on it on the part that was pressed into the into the hub. So I can clean this off with some uh, rags. So tomorrow we'll go ahead and get new grease seals. We'll return that motor to Harbor Freight. We'll finish the trailer up. And then Adam came and brought me some more grease for the grease gun so we can finish greasing up the Can-Am. We may grease up some other spots on the truck if I can find more. I know there's a couple spots that I know I have to get on the truck. Um, and then uh, that video posted today about the uh, snorkel. So I'll go ahead and run a line from the carburetor up to here. I think four should be good for the vents and then I'll buy some silicone while I'm out tomorrow too and silicone around where the uh, PVC goes into the air box. So we should be watertight on that. And yeah, so we got a, uh, a bunch of filming to do the rest of the week. So I should stay busy and uh, hope you guys are enjoying the videos. Let me know if you guys wanna see anything else besides what I'm doing around here. If you guys have any specific videos you guys wanna see, let me know in the comments below and I'll see you in the next video. Dippin' Diesel, out.